Bryson, let me give you some context. Basically, I have an overactive imagination, and a few years ago, I made some videos about it. All three of those videos are old and bad, and you do not have my permission to watch them. All you need to know is that I'm going to talk about the strange things my imagination is made up, and it's going to be weird. Imagination is for dorks! <laughs> to keep with tradition, we'll start by talking about this channel's mascot, the ham. This little guy. Hams are little cutie pies that make friends with everyone. They can roll around and just kind of do whatever they want. Most hams are kind of small, but I imagine some of them to be huge. Damn, boy, he thick! They like to bounce around, and they can be really stretchy. Also, they can be really fast and roll around like Sonic. <laughs> hams are one of the many creatures me and my friends made up together. Some of my other favorite creatures include Scrumbos, Grompers, the Pithecus and its evolutions, Klishkins, and the Gremlins. I imagine them to hang out on big floating gardens where they do magic and play games. Hocus Pocus, you've lost your focus! If dinosaurs didn't go extinct, wouldn't it be really cool to see how the dinosaurs and humans coexist? What if the dinosaurs got domesticated? There could be pet dinosaurs and they could help us build society. Imagine having a big pet T-Rex that acted like a dog. <coughs> and if they were like dogs, there could be different breeds of the dinosaurs with different colorations and stuff. <coughs> and instead of driving to your friend's house, you could just ride your pterodactyl there. I mean, I really hope the dinosaurs would be nice, but we have an entire movie franchise about how that's not the case. <coughs> What if ocean life could fly instead of swim? Can you imagine if there were just big whales floating around, and there would be little fish chilling out in the trees, and you could fly around on dolphins? But also, that would be really scary if there was a great white shark that wandered into a neighborhood. <laughs> Me and my friends used to always make comics about the ham together, but we have a lot of other characters. One of my personal favorites were the wizards. Sometimes the wizards would be good guys that would help our heroes, while other times they were evil and would turn people's heads into onions. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite part would be when the ham would defeat the wizards and would use their hats to become a wizard ham. <laughs> also, you can't capture a ham. The only way to have a ham stay with you is to befriend it. Even if a bad guy put a ham in a steel box, the ham would just... Also, a ham is the best judge of character. That's why the best heroes in the land are often accompanied by hams. But, if you have a ham and start doing bad stuff, the ham is gonna leave you until you start being good again. And that's why almost no YouTubers have a ham. Because all YouTubers are terrible people. Except me. My ham never leaves me because I'm so much better than all of you and I'm the best person to have ever existed on the earth. Kneel before me! Wait, no, come back, I'm sorry! And if you like the ham or me, then you'll be happy to know that we got two new big plushies. One of the ham and one of me. They are much bigger than last time too. The ham has the ability to read your soul and judge your purity, and the Bryson is a functioning voodoo doll of me. Watch! This is the best merch I've made so far, and we worked really hard on it. So if you want to support me, scroll down to the merch shelf or link in the description and buy a plush. And if you buy both, you get a discount. Thank you. Back to the video. When I was younger, I would imagine these tiny toy airplanes that I could sit in and fly around in. Can you imagine how fun it would be to float around in your own personal little airplane? You could rig it up with Nerf guns and have a dogfight in the skies. I also used to imagine peacefully floating around in little hot air balloons to explore the skies. I would imagine me and my friends visiting the floating gardens that all the creatures hang out at. But again, floating around in hot air balloons would be really dangerous if sharks could fly. But sharks are scared of killer whales, so maybe you could make the hot air balloon look like an orca to keep the sharks away. <laughs> also, did you know that dolphins can beat up sharks? I swam with a dolphin once. Dolphins are very smart, and because of this, they know where to hit the shark to deal maximum damage. They punch the sharks in the gills with their noses. <laughs> if we take a look at the dolphin's brain, we can see all these smarty, wrinkly bits throughout the brain. This allows the dolphin to have big brain thoughts, like punching the sharks in the gills. However, if we take a look at my brain, we can see that there aren't any smarty wrinkles. 
It's totally smooth. Since there aren't any big brain thoughts happening in my brain, it leaves space open for other thoughts to happen, such as, what if sharks could fly? I've made a chart that explains the three different types of brains. At the bottom, we've got smooth brain. No smarty wrinkles means that no big brain thoughts can happen. However, smooth brains have a lot of imagination. This is the kind of brain I have. <laughs> In the middle, we've got a caveman brain. This brain has wrinkles, but it's kind of small. This brain has 50% intelligence and 50% imagination. Ooga booga, pee pee doo doo kaka. At the top, we've got big brain. It has wrinkles like the caveman brain, but it's much bigger, meaning a lot of big brain thoughts happen in this brain. However, big brains have no imagination. They just do math and go beep boop, I'm smart, science, ha ha, big brain time. However, there is a brain of myth above all the rest, known as huge brain. These brains have 100% intelligence and 100% imagination. That's like 200%. People who have this brain have the biggest big brain thoughts of all time, and they also have imagination. They're basically just like you and me, except they are better than you and me in absolutely every way. <coughs> if there are any huge brains watching, I am scared of you, I don't trust you, stay away. Another note, since I have a smooth brain, whenever I see someone who has a huge brain, I get really discouraged, because they're so much smarter than me. It just makes me feel inferior. <coughs> <coughs> but, according to the graph, I am inferior. So, feeling inferior is the correct response. <coughs> Alright, the moral of the story is hams are adorable, sharks shouldn't fly. That's like a tongue twister, sharks shouldn't fly. The moral of the story is hams are adorable, sharks shouldn't fly, and I have smooth brain. Also, I love you and subscribe. Goodbye. <coughs> no, no, what the f I'm really excited about those plushies. I worked really hard on them and I really hope you guys like them. So if you're interested, please scroll down to the link in the description or the merch shelf and buy them. I think you'll like them. I've got mine sitting on my desk and they're really cute. Anyways, big thanks to Annie and Nate for helping me make this video look good. They're both really good artists. What was your favorite part of the video? I liked the onion wizard. Me and my friends had really weird imaginations, huh? I guess I'm just quirky like that. I mentioned in the video that it would be really cool to have pet dinosaurs, but I have two pet tortoises and they basically are my own little pet dinosaurs. I love them so much. Thank you for the fan art and for subscribing and for everything. I'm really grateful for this opportunity to do my dream job and you guys make it possible. Just by watching, you're helping support me, so thank you. I'm gonna be taking a little break to take two trips, one to visit my best friends and one to visit my nephews. But after that, I'll get back on the video grind like always. Thank you guys. Okay, I hope the video turned out good. I'm kind of bad at editing, so sorry if I get cut off in the middle of my 